as we enter a new century, we are in what I call the best of times and the worst of times with respect to media representations of female athletes. There has been both widespread acceptance and movement of women in sport that was unheard of 30 years ago, and at the same time there's been an increasing backlash about their success and their presence. I think not too long ago it was very easy to equate athleticism, strength, physical power with men, and by contrast to think about women as weak, as supportive for men, purely as sexual objects. Now that landscape has changed somewhat with the, with the tremendous growth of girls and women's sports. Everybody has the opportunity to see strong, powerful, physically competent, uh, competitive women. And I think that really challenges that simple gender dichotomy that we used to take so much for granted. Sport is not just a trivial activity for fun. It has real deep cultural meaning in this society. And I think that to, to challenge that meaning, that meaning in terms of what it means to be a man in this culture by inviting women in and acknowledging that women are also athletic and muscular and strong uh, is, is a real challenge to that cultural norm that we live in. Over the course of a decade that we were doing research on the coverage of women's and men's sports, the, our dominant finding was how much the coverage of women's sports had not changed. Women are significantly underrepresented with respect to amount of coverage. If you just watch the sports news, and if you just watch ESPN, and if you just picked up Sports Illustrated magazine for your main print a source of information about what's going on in the sports world, it would be easy to continue to conclude that there is no women's sports happening. Women athletes are significantly more likely than male athletes to be portrayed off the court, out of uniform, and in these hyper-feminized roles. The thing that we infrequently see is images of women athletes as athletes. I think we need to talk about why that is and who benefits from not seeing women athletes as athletes. Who's controlling the images that we see in the media? And I think particularly if you look at sports media, by and large, the decisions about what images are portrayed, what images are used, who gets coverage, are still made by men. They prefer to see women athletes portrayed in a more feminine way. It's more comfortable. I think it's pretty clear that if you're a female athlete and you want corporate sponsorship, you'd better project a wholesome image. And part of that wholesomeness is the assumption that you are not lesbian, that you are heterosexual. So you'll have a disproportionate number of images of women athletes with children, with boyfriends, with husbands, to clearly mark themselves as heterosexual. Sometimes I've referred to that as sort of the protective camouflage of feminine drag that women athletes and coaches feel sort of compelled to, uh, to monitor in themselves and in, in others. Sort of this need to reassure people, I'm an athlete. I may be a great athlete, but don't worry, I'm still a normal woman. That there are more and more images of women athletes that bear alarming resemblances to soft pornography. Is this the kind of image that we want young girls who are interested in sport to aspire to? Do we want them to think that in order to be respected as an athlete, they have to strip? All I'm asking is turn the camera on and let us see what it looks like when women participate in sports. And what we'll see is that they are terrific athletes who are enormously gifted and enormously committed to something that many people in this country love, and that's sport.